Thanksgiving week marks one year since a chemical release at the Martinez Refining Company triggering citywide health concerns. Our uh, Crown Force Amanda Harry joins us now live in the studio after talking with someone from the community group Healthy Martinez about what they are demanding uh, now from the refinery. Amanda. People who live in Martinez still live in fear of another chemical release every day. They say they want accountability and responsibility from the Martinez Refining Company. As many people are preparing for the Thanksgiving holiday, those who live in Martinez are haunted by the memory of what happened last year. Enjoying a wonderful Thanksgiving dinner with friends and family, and I had no idea when they were leaving our house that they were being showered with toxic heavy metals. Last Thanksgiving, around 9.30 p.m., the refinery estimates 20 to 24 tons of spent catalyst was released into the community. Residents found their yards and vehicles covered in metallic dust. Initial testing of the substance shows elevated levels of metals like aluminum, nickel, and zinc, which can cause respiratory problems. The refinery failed to alert the county health department and the community warning system. We are still living in fear of another major chemical release. Nothing has changed. We do not know why that unit malfunctioned. We still don't have answers. Heidi Taylor is a member of Healthy Martinez, a community group dedicated to refinery accountability. They're demanding immediate action to address environmental concerns. In order for us to feel safe, we want them to install a wet gas scrubber. We want an independent air monitoring system. And we, they should have dropped their lawsuit against the Bay Area Air Quality Management District. What a waste of time and money. The Contra Costa County DA's office announced they're teaming up with the Bay Area Air Quality Management District and filed a legal complaint against the Martinez Refining Company. It is because of chemical releases like the one on Thanksgiving last year. There have been at least three other smaller chemical releases in the past year. We deserve to hold that refinery, all of these refineries, to an emission standard that makes us safe. Remember, they are just, Martinez Refining Company is emitting 300 tons of PM 2.5 every single year. You can do the math. We're breathing that in every day. We deserve clean air and water. The legal complaint from the DA's office is just a pre-filing. If they can't find common ground with the refinery, the DA will likely move forward with charges. In the studio, Amanda Harry, Cron 4 News.